sitting here on the eve of, um, <coughs> excuse me, on the eve of one of the greatest uh, sporting events that we have in sports. Um, you know, race and what's going on comes again. And, um, and on my behalf and my family's behalf. But I mean, I look at it as this, I mean, if it's, if this is a shed of light and uh, continue to keep the conversation going on my behalf, then, then I'm okay with it. Um, you know, my family is safe. Um, at the end of the day, they're safe and that's the most important. But it just goes to show that, um, that racism uh, will always be a, a part of the world, a part of America. And, um, you know, hate, um, you know, in America, especially for African Americans, um, is uh, is living every day. And even though that, you know, that is concealed most of the time, you know, people hide their faces and will say things um, about you when, when they see you, they smile on your face. Um, it's alive every single day. And um, and I think back to Emmett Till's mom. Actually, it's kind of one of the first things I thought of. And and the reason that she had a, a open casket is because she wanted to show the world um, what her son went through as far as the hate crime and you know being black in America. Um, so it's like it doesn't. No matter how much money you have, um, no matter how famous you are, no matter how many people admire you, um, you know being being black in America is. It's tough, and uh, and we got a long way to go, um, you know, for for us as a society and for us as African Americans until we until we feel equal um, in America, and um, you know, but my family is safe, and um, you know that's what's that's what's important. Same row on the aisle here. LeBron, Tony Zarella, Cleveland 19, uh, that's such a, a strong statement from you. And, and now we turn it to basketball when you're talking about real life issues. How do you, you know, move on to that looking ahead to tomorrow night, knowing that this took place? Well, I mean, at the end of the day, um, I'll be focused tomorrow on our game plan and <clears throat> focus on these games. Um, but I also know what's, I mean, I'm at a point in my life where my priorities is in place. And uh, basketball comes second to my family. Um, it actually comes, um, you know, after me continuing to be a role model to the youth. And, uh, and what I do as far as with my, with my foundation, um, it won't take no, uh, I will be as focused as I can be on, on the job at hand tomorrow. Um, but it always, you know, this is a situation where, you know, it just puts me back in place of what's actually more important. and. Um, and uh, basketball is not the most important thing in my life. Next question in the back. Robert Littal, Black Sports Online. At this point, LeBron, going to so many finals, I'm sure you've heard almost every type of question, answered every type of question. Do you mind telling us a, a story or an experience uh, from your finals experience that maybe we haven't heard before? <laughs> I, I can't even up, sit here and, and, and to even think about it. Um, yeah, you know, I'm just um, I'm in a position where I'm just blessed, and I'm honored to be a part of. You know, we have All Star Weekend and we have the finals. These are our two biggest events. You have the NBA draft will be third, um, and I'm sitting here uh, once again uh, with this franchise being able to be a part of the NBA Finals where. Our game is covered by so many different countries all over the world, and uh, it brings a spotlight to two of the best teams that we have in our sport today. So um, that's what I'm more um, proud about, and that's the story I have right now. Ramona on the right. Okay. LeBron, uh, Ramona Shelburne, ESPN. I'm hiding back here. Uh, what's your relationship with Kevin Durant like? I know you guys have spent time together in the off season. You played on national teams, and uh, like I know in 2011, didn't he come out to Akron to come train with you a little bit? Do, do you do you have that relationship still, or is it healthy competitive? Our relationship was very good. Um, 
our relationship consists of if someone needed something, we can always reach out to one another. And, uh, you know, if not, then um, it doesn't take away from it. Um, we've always had a, <clears throat> a mutual respect of one another being competitors. I've always wanted to, you know, obviously because I was in the NBA um, before him, and when he came in and I watched him and things of that nature, even before he came in, I always gave him, you know, just a, you know, if he needed anything to bounce off or someone to bounce something off, he can always use me because I had experience being drafted to a franchise that now they're expecting you to be the franchise player. You know, so with him going to Seattle, you know, he always could use me and things of that nature. And so all over the course of the years throughout his uh, um, throughout his journey, um, I've always had an open door policy and, um, you know, with KD. And uh, so I guess that's what I mean, pretty much it. Over here on the aisle. LeBron, Dan Simon with CNN. Uh, one more question about the incident. How do you explain something like that to your own children? Oh, I think the most unfortunate part is that I'm here right now, and I can't be home to see my boys right now. My little girl is too young to actually understand it right now, but um, I can't sit in front of my boys right now, and I won't be home until next week. So this is kind of killing me inside right now. But my wife is unbelievable. My mother, my mother-in-law, my sister-in-law, they're going to do a great job of um, you know, talking to them when they get home from school today um, because of Apple. Uh, being so great, I can't FaceTime them. And, um, but I like to do face-to-face -face conversations when it becomes with a situation like this. But, you know, have, that's the, I've talked about this before, you know, having two sons, uh, two sons that's very, um, uh, they have great minds. They're very uh, open to life and, and, and love life and things of that nature. So um, for me to be able just to try to give them the blueprint as much as I can on what life has to offer, um, you know, but at the end of the day, they're going to have to walk their own path. And hopefully I give them enough life skills um, throughout their journey where when they're ready to fly, they can fly on their own. Chris, standing on the left over here. Chris Hangs, ESPN. Brian, you, you've been through multiple odds throughout your, your career. Last year, it sounds like this is it again. Do you still get a drive or a high of a trying to, I don't want to say prove people wrong, but just trying to silence folks? No, I'm not in that department anymore. I left that in the 20s. I'm not in the prove people wrong, silence critics, people department no more. I got a promotion when I got to the 30s. So at the end of the day, I mean, I know what I've done. I know what I'm built. I know the way I'm built. My only motivation is to uh, be able to compete for a championship every single year. And I'm sitting here today blessed once again because I put in the work and our teammates have put in the work. So, um, yeah, that doesn't matter to me. Dave in the back. LeBron, Dave McMahon of ESPN. I uh, wanted to know if the incident stirred any emotions inside of you and how you manage them, if, if it does. Um, well, I'll have a – I mean, obviously, you see, I'm not my normal energetic self. It'll pass. That's fine. I'm – Figuring it out, I'm thinking about my kids a lot. Obviously, I'm not in front of them. So, um, but my wife, I talked to my wife, and she was pretty. She's, she's the energizer bunny of the family. So, and uh, she said everything is fine. So that helps me out a lot. Um, but, you know, time time heals all. And at the end of the day, um, like I said, um, if if this incident that happened to me and my family today can. Keep the conversation going and can shed light on us trying to figure out a way um, to keep progressing and not regressing. Then uh, I'm not a uh, I'm not against it happening to us again. I mean, it's as long as my favorite say uh, my family's safe, Dave. LeBron, uh, Greg Logan of New York Newsday. Uh, you do seem very aware, though, of your historical perspective in the game. Seven straight finals with two different teams, and now part of this trilogy. Uh, do you see each step of this, and, and this one in particular, as another uh, brick in building your own personal legacy in the game? Well, I think um, I never really talk about my legacy. Um, I kind of just live in the moment. And if I'm able to accomplish something, then it kind of adds to it on its own. Um, so in this instance, you know, I've seen some of the um, some of the stats and some of the history and things of that nature. And, um, you know, I'm, first person to go to the final seven straight times since 
I think uh, Bill Russell and those guys back in the 50s, I believe, or 60s. And, uh, and I said I was the first guy to take a franchise, um, two different franchises to the finals four times. Um, so, you know, at the end of the day, I, I want to be able to, once I hang it up and not play this game anymore, that people can look at what I was able to accomplish, win, lose, or draw, and say that he made a difference. And, um, you know, so that's what I'm here for. And if I could, fo if I could follow up, uh, how deeply satisfying was it to you, especially after the circumstances under which you left Cleveland, to then return last year and deliver that title? Um, well, it was a goal of mine. And um, satisfying is, is I'm not a, I don't like to be satisfied too much because then you become complacent. Uh, but it was a reward because when you set out a goal and you're able to achieve that reward, or achieve that goal, like all of us, then it's it's rewarding and you feel good about it. Um, but I'm not a complacent person, you know. After we was able to accomplish that last year and we celebrated for a few days, I got right back to work, you know, mentally and physically, get my body ready um, because I wanted to be able to um, put myself and put our teammates and put our franchise in position where.